Okay, from the top. We start with Bow because he has the best starting weapon. Uh, Garlic allows you to just plow through early enemies. And let's do it in the library. That's what I picked! Over area, area, yeah. Duration. Yeah, I prefer healing. Start with healing. None of these is what we want. Now, we want both the Attractor and the Crown. Because the, the Attractor is for the Water, the Crown is for the, the Pentagram. But as far as getting more experience faster, a tractor is better. You know what? Let's get the water. Already. And now we can fill in with a crown. And the uh, the garlic item. And birds. Start collecting birds. The Vandalier is the second or third best weapon in the game. I think it's, I think it's the second one. Uh, in this case, we want the Spellbinder, so let's pick that one up. The first thing you want to do is fill up the spaces with the weapons that you want, and the items that you want, so you can pick up the bonus items. No, nope. garlic. Don't need the other, those other things. And we don't need the tome because we're gonna get one later. It's on the map. So, I technically have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. As I get it on, I can pick up all the bonuses I really want. But no other ones. No nice to have bonuses. Those you might get in the forest. Uh, yeah, don't want whip or knife. This seems to be progressing nicely. Okay, the Tiragisu you want for the guns. So, I'm only missing... Yeah, I'm only this missing the Candelabra though. Yeah, don't need those, just the garlic. Don't need any of those. As you can see, with a good garlic you can just plow through the early enemies. And we want the crown here, not the garlic, because it ups our XP intake. And get the wings, no matter what, uh, the birds, because when you you collect all the birds, they, s they clear your spot. <coughs> Here's the town. That was quick. Okay, those skeletons don't like me. Just need the candelabra, and I can pick up the town. So, not yet. Let's try and not die to these slightly tougher enemies. More attack orb. Gives me more XP without needing to get too close. Okay, all set. 
Uh, let's have to go. Yeah, when you have to choose between weapons that are roughly similar values, pick the ones with a higher rank because they'll evolve sooner. For example, in Hades, I would, I would say uh, upgrade the lower level of weapons, boons, but here better to go for the higher ones. In Hades, it's because you get diminishing attacks. Everyone freeze! Ah, I was hoping for some garlic. Again, in pretty much every game where you have resources you accumulate, always go first for the things that give you more resources. Here comes the pentagram. I am not going to pick it up right now because I want the garlic and then I want to evolve it and the pentagram will erase that chest, but we will pick up the pentagram later. What? But... The garlic is full. And the guns. Good. Looks like I can plow through enemies again. And the other bird. If I can only get the other gun, that'll be awesome. Yeah, we'll pick up lunch. There won't be low level enemies forever. Uh, not the wings, not the Bible. We need to save room for the other gun. So, best avoid that for as long as possible. Yeah, these ones are a bit tougher. XP. Come on, level me up. Uh, yeah, I would rather avoid picking up a new weapon and save it for the gun. Okay, up the, up the water. Ghosts are also really, not really lightweights. And I also want to upgrade something to full before I kill that boss. Like I said, weapons are more important than items at almost every occasion. Revivals. Let's start with more effects. This is what's satisfying <laughs> about Vampire Survivals. Uh, I will go for Santa Water this time because that boss is coming and I want to evolve. The 
now the crown is at full. And look at my pickup range. Let's do a bit more of this and then get the chest. Why the hell didn't you evolve my stuff? Uh, yeah, no effects. Survival's only coming to play later. Birds first, because we already have both of them. But here's a bell. Ball bird. More bird, more boss, guess we have to. I'm still hoping for this to be a bit faster. Yeah, the only cho the choice I made there was that revivals don't really come into play yet. It doesn't really matter. Mm, you know what? No, I'll wait. If I can wait, I'll wait. Can I get my evolution now? Thank you. Awesome. Now my garlic also heals. Upgrade my water, please. No. Hmm, area. Duration. Speed. Area, duration, speed. I think area is better. Because it also doesn't flush away too much. I don't want those weapons, I just want the other gun. Please upgrade my water. Thank you. Now the upgraded water is bigger, stronger, and they attract, so it ends up generating just massive amounts of damage. Just be careful with the bosses. I can't stand still just yet. I can't pick up the Bible yet either. Yeah, I want the Bible and the pentagram, but I need the other gun first. Yeah, I also picked these weapons probably because the upgrades are the most basic ones, so they're the best. I'll wait. The longer you can still pick other things and also not use your uh, banishments and rerolls, the better. Okay, I'm running out of things to upgrade. <laughs> Give me the gun. Give me the birds. And I'm taking a little bit too much damage. <sighs> B 
Compound will uh, evolve fast. Yeah, and the size also affects the, the bullet size. Bird. Still need the white at max. See how they just ran on themselves over it? Okay. Now I have to do something else. Banish the lightning ring. That's not what I wanted. Where's the other gun? Where's the other gun? Okay, my bells are maxed. Okay, pentagram it is. Now the pentagram might seem like a weird choice, because uh, it erases everything, but soon enough it doesn't. And at the end of the game, it's the best one. Okay, not what I wanted. Nope. Nope again. Wait, I have the tiramisu, I have the crown, I have the red heart, I have the spellbinder, I have the orb, I need the candelabra. That's the next thing. That's the last item I want. Why didn't I pick that up already? Okay. Now that I'm full up on items, I can pick up the tone, which become my seventh. And cooldown is very, very important. That's the Metallo boss, but I don't care about the Metallo. That's the Silver boss, but I don't care about the Silver Ring. But they're bosses, so we can kill them for the XP. Which is just very, very tough. Yeah, the Pentagram is full up. Just need the evolution. Now we can pick it up, but it doesn't really matter. I think it just makes enemies stronger, which maybe wasn't such a good idea. Oh, didn't notice my health. Ah, damn it! Could barely see him. Yeah, don't pick up the metallo. I can stick around the water and then I'll be safe. Oh right, they gave me an egg. Ah, the left one gives me health increase, and that's that's the cool one. So yeah, pick that one up. Don't remember which ring does what, but it's not important for the build. Right now, I just need a boss, like that one. Please, birds. 
Thank you. Now I really have to get the other gun. No, other gun. Oh, perfect. And yes, upgrading the guns is more important than the Vendelie. Because the Vendelie doesn't evolve any further. Damaging that water is. No, not another boss yet, I'm not ready. Actually, I am. I need to evolve the Pentagon. Come on, die already. This is why it's the best weapon in the game. Watch this. That is just awesome. L, L. Now just give me another boss. Ah, oh, come on. Fine. Plus one amount. I haven't tried this one before. Let's try it. Plus three amount for the garlic. I don't know what that means. Yeah, and because the pentagram is only affected by uh, cooldown, then eventually it just does that every few seconds. Like every 20 seconds. Yeah, right now I can just stand still, but if there are more things to pick up, then I want them. And the guns. And basically, that's the build. Upgrade the Vandalier to max. Uh, ah, no, I'm sorry. I need the, the spell. The spe In this case, the, the next weapon should be the Bible. I think it's the best one. If not, then the wand. Also a good one. As you can see, uh, the gun just keeps doing that. Okay, I'm a bit too damaged. <coughs> yeah, because of the cooldown and duration, it just keeps going, it doesn't count back. Okay, I believe it is. Ah, boss. And so, why do you need the garlic in the late game? Because of the knockback bonus. Anything that gets hit is getting knocked back. In the Bible, when you get it finished, or the wand actually, they do a lot of knockback.
look at the clear speed. <laughs> what is that damn mask? Oh, it's far away. Yeah, we don't really need the mask. And for the rest of the game, we can pretty much just hang back. Except when you select your things to run away from bosses. Wait, this one also upgrades only health? No, health and max health. As you can see, almost no one can get through. Just be careful of the bosses. And with Vespers, we're done. No one can get through this mess. All you have to do is just press space when you want to pick things up. Yeah, it doesn't pick up chests. Yeah, this size is ridiculous because of the Arcana. That's how I hit, I think, level 160 or 150? Something weird like that. Yeah, even the boss can can't really get through. That's it. That's the guns and the tiramisu, the belts, the pentagram and the crown, the garlic and the red heart, the bible and the spellbinder, the water and the orb, and the water and the orb, and if you can swing it, the tome and the candelabra, they are not an evolved item for this build, but they're cool. And if you can get one or two for free, even better. Ah, you're not allowed in. Oh, chicken. Here come the big bosses. Level 143. Uh, the shrinking boundary line. The only problem with this build is that the death guy has minus knockback, so when you hit him he actually gets closer. But as you can see, 
the Gorgeous Moon has the best DPS. After that is the Vandalier. After that, the Water. After that, the Guns. No, uh, the Vespers before, then the Guns, and the Soul Eater. And that's my build for Vampire Survivals. If you want to just grind stuff. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay good. Have fun.